there's this one uh, little bit goofy sheikh in Turkey. Somehow, on my feet came yesterday or the day before. He took himself into a mosque and he started making suhbah in a mosque. It's a, it was a tomb of a saint and next to it is a mosque. He's making suhbah. And uh, the mufti, or the, muft, the, the Islamic authority in that area told the police, go get him out. He has no permission to speak. Yeah. They went. They took him out. He has no permission to speak. They took him out. They say, you cannot speak. So what did he do outside? He started complaining. And he started not cussing, but almost uh, angry. He says, I came here because my heart was drawn to the saint of the mosque. And the saint of the mosque was angry with me because I was late. So basically, the, the saint that is lying in his maqam, he's saying that he was angry at him because he was late. MashaAllah, he speaks to saints. And I know the guy. MashaAllah, if you speak to saints, why are they kicking you out from the saint's uh, uh, maqam? If the saint allows you to speak, why is he sending people onto you to kick you out? <laughs> if you're speaking to him, they're all goofy, Sheikh. Goofy, Sufi, really, they are goofballs. They have no idea what, it, what, it, what is it, it, it means to be connected to saints spiritually, not only to Mawlana Sheikh Nazim. He's a murid of Mawlana Sheikh Nazim. I understand. So many people are murid, and they have declared themselves big, big ones. Because they are, really, okay, you can do it. But saints will, will, saints, if you speak to saints, you are the Qutub of the time. If you speak to one that is in his grave, and he's, he, he's upset with you because you came late, why is he kicking you out? So he got, he got kicked out. So outside he was angry. Why is he angry? <coughs> was his, he said, I came here for khizmat. I came here for a service. Okay, maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want you to do that service. Why are you angry? Because his service was for his ego. You understand? He, he was not able to speak. He got angry. Why is he angry? Because his ego did not have the chance to show itself. His ego was not given the respect. His ego, and he has a little bit of some of his murids with him. All of them, they look like villagers. They are poor ones, weak ones. They are being uh, brainwashed by this guy, uh, as, as usual. So he is angry because his ego is angry. It is not for Allah. If he wanted to speak for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not give him permission, he should not be angry. Why is he angry? There's no permission, okay. I, I, I surrender, I submit to my Lord. He takes himself and leaves. So he was speaking in the awlu, they say. The awlu means the, the inside, not the inside, inside of the mosque, but around the mosque. So the police also told him, get out of the. <laughs> so basically he got out to the bazaar, to the market and complaining in the market. Yeah. So that is not amal, that is not a deed, that is not a service, that is not a khizmat, that, as they say, khidma. It is not a service for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is a service for your ego. So he got angry because his ego was angry. So a true murid, a true follower of Sheikh Nazim, he should know that his movements, active movements, and still moments, is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he's Speaking, that's a movement. It's for Allah. If he is uh, sukun, if he is quiet, it is for Allah. So why doesn't he see it that way? Because he's a fake one. So many of them out there, they are not true ones. You have to be careful. You have to, f you have to be careful. If somebody sounds cra uh, crazy speaking to dead people, then you have to say, ah, let me, let me see a question mark. I don't want to say it that way. Of course, awliyaullah, we don't believe they are dead. But for everybody to understand, if you say, I speak to the people here in the cemetery, you're either crazy or you have jinn on you. <laughs> <laughs>